Hi guys, hello and welcome back. What a serene atmosphere this is with deer grazing right behind me. And uh, I mean, you might have guessed by the title that uh, that I'm there in I'm here in Bandipur. But if you're guessing where exactly I am, uh, let me show you. It's 3:30 now, and I've just arrived from uh, Bangalore to Bandipur National Park, and uh, I've, this time I have booked Harini Guest House. So that's the Harini Guest House. And this is the guest house which was closest to the jungle. Uh, in fact, last time when I came here in December, I had stayed in another guest house at the other end of cottages. But this time, uh, and yeah, I did have a leopard sighting there as well. I'll put up a link for that if you want to check out that video. But uh, this guest house, Harini too, is closest to the jungle. And like you can see, there are deer all around already. And uh, so, yeah, uh, let's see what we can see here. So, there there are a few resident leopards right here. So, if I if I do get lucky, then I might get a chance to view them. And by the way, this time I'm not alone. I've come here with my family, and I'll show you the room as well. Come, let's check out. And I've come here with my family here. Guys, say hi. To everyone, Tabi, say hi to the camera. And this is uh, room number two, suite two that I have booked here. Like you can see, that's a nice photograph. And there is another suite here. So there are two rooms here actually in this one. And seems Harini was actually this guest house was built in 1959. So it's uh, quite an old building. I mean, even from the outset, you, it seems really old. But yeah, it's uh, manageable. So inside, it's a pretty small room that you have here. So that's his, uh, my son's toy. So he wants to show that to you as well. So yeah, and we have a dressing table and uh, a place to keep luggage here. And a big mirror, that's it. And uh, the bathroom is decent here, so that's the most important thing. So, and there is uh, a six-liter gas geyser here, so you get hot water all the time, hopefully. So that's about it. It's a simple room. You can't expect much here in the forest, but the reason you come here is for the view here. So that's the view. And uh, there was a herd of deer right outside this guest house uh, because it saw our movement. It was, I mean, it, they were here till now, it just, they just moved on yeah. to that side. But by uh, evening time, they'll again be back all over here. So th that's the best part here. Let's see. Hopefully, that, uh, last time at least there was a resident leopard here, which used to, I, I saw a male leopard on the other side. So there may be other leopards here. So the plan here is, uh, see we are staying here for two nights. Uh, I have booked this cottage for two nights. Uh, today, because we reached here at 3.30, we are not going for a safari. So we will just spend the uh, evening relaxing here. And then, uh, you know, settle down for the day. And uh, tomorrow morning, uh, maybe or uh, tomorrow evening, I plan to go for uh, safari in uh, Bandipur. Uh, so that's the general plan now. But what a beautiful, calm place here. So those are the other cottages over there. That's all Papiha, Kokila and all, all those cottages are over there. It's been raining a lot in Bangalore these days, at least for the past two, three days. And uh, yeah, today, so far it's, it's not rained uh, during the drive. But yeah, seems the clouds are picking up here now. So we need to see how it turns up in the evening. From this time around, I, what I notice is you can actually drive till your cottage in your own vehicle and unload the luggage and then you'll have to, you know, get back your, get the vehicle back to the parking, main parking lot and park there for the night. So that's the one advantage I see uh, this time around.
All right, so we have now parked the vehicle at the parking lot and we are returning back to the cottage and we'll take a walk uh, in the campus itself once. We'll go check out if we get any evening snacks here. And like you could see, this park was set up in, uh, I mean, the history dates back to 1931 when it was officially named as a park by the then Maharaja of Mysore, Krishna Rajendra Vadiar IV. So it has quite some history. There are four cottages there in the complex of Gajendra. Seems it's not uh, allowed for general public because I've never seen, uh, uh, you know, been able to book that one. It's not online, available online to book. And this is the cottage next to ours, that is Chitar cottage. And there are two rooms here as well. By the looks of it, Cheetah looks actually slightly better and uh, I guess that's because it's built a little, I mean it's relatively a new building compared to Harini which is a properly old building. This is an Quite interesting map from the year 1982. It says Markera Mysore map. So it shows the regions of Bandipur, Nagarhole, Manantwadi, Kakankote, Begur, all this area. It will take a little while to understand this map because it's quite an old map and it's got its own sort of uh, index to understand it but yeah i'll take a look at it in detail so basically in this line we have papiha kokila and mayura three guest houses And that's the Vanashri complex. I mean, if you want mm -hmm. the one which is closest to the dining area, and that is Vanashri. And probably that's the safest as well, I think. It's a little more luxurious, modern complex. Best for families, actually, that, that one. I think there are six rooms in there, Vanashri. And this is uh, the dining area. So that's the Vanasuma cottage and that's the Vanarinjini cottage. And uh, that's where I'd stayed last time when I had come here. And when, when I had that uh, leopard encounter. So I'll put up a link for that video over here.
All right, so we spent some quality time just, you know, roaming around the campus here, watching around the animals that are there in the campus, uh, which is, uh, I mean, quite a lot of animals here. And, you know, you don't have to go for a safari all the time. Just staying here is quite amazing, actually. So, yeah, so there was nobody in the cafeteria back then, so I just went and checked with the deputy range uh, officer here. So he said um, they'll arrange for some snacks. So I'm just uh, we are again heading back there to see if we can get some coffee, tea, and snacks there. But what a beautiful evening! Check out the clouds in the background over there. Just mesmerizing. <laughs> just fantastic. Initially, my family members were a little skeptical that uh, unlike jungle arches and resorts, there are no activities here. Not much activities in the camp itself. Uh, but yeah, after. Uh, spending some time here in the camp, looking at the animals, looking at those langurs play, uh, those uh, cheetah deers run across and frolic in this, uh, you know, background. Uh, you know, we didn't even realize uh, how quickly the time went by actually. And, uh, you know, yeah, they started liking this camp as well. Uh, there is not much, uh, you know, proper kids activities or anything like that, but you don't need that actually if you just start looking around and enjoy nature you don't need any such activities here we rushed back to the room after a quick uh, cup of tea uh, there's nothing much no other snacks to have here but um, yeah, it's just started raining very heavily now. But luckily, we just made it in time uh, <clears throat> and reached the room. We have uh, time until 8.30 now. We need to wait. It's 6.30 now. So, a couple of hours we need to wait for dinner, wherein they'll come and pick us from the room because uh, you're not supposed to walk after 6, 7 o'clock here. So, I'll just plan to sit in the veranda here and listen to the sounds of the rain here. So it's properly raining now, it's quite heavy rains. If it rains this heavily, I'm not sure if there will be any animal movement in the campus. It seems uh, a couple of days back, a uh, leopard actually made a kill, a uh, cheetah kill near this uh, guest house it seems. ಯಾವತ್ತುಂಡ <laughs> 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 Finally, we saw a leopard uh, right next to this dining area and uh, as we walked from Harini all the way till this dining area, the leopard also, it was actually somewhere behind Kokila or some Papiha, so it walked all the way, it went behind Vanaranjini now. And he says it's the same male leopard that I saw uh, last time in December. It's uh, the same male leopard. I tried recording it, but uh, I couldn't capture it. So it, the camera was not focusing. It was very far. I mean, the last time around I did, uh, I was able to capture it on camera also. But this time, too, at least now I could not capture, but got a very good sighting. Hopefully, let's see if we can see anything else in the night as well. But yeah, great, great sighting here.
Good morning, guys. What a lovely morning it is here at Bandipur. It was uh, more or less an eventless night yesterday. So I woke up like five, six times at uh, you know once at 11:30 and like 12:30, 1:30, 2:30, again 4:30, and it pretty much rained the whole night yesterday. So couldn't see much apart from the deers. Uh, couldn't see much. So regarding the leopard sighting yesterday, uh, when we started going for dinner at around 8:30, you know usually in this campus that uh, when I came last time, there was this uh, electric vehicle, electric sort of buggy, uh, you know which they use in golf course, right? So it was there's a vehicle like that, which they used to ferry people after seven o'clock uh, in this campus. So every time. Uh, you just give a call they come and pick you up so that didn't happen at 8:30 you're not supposed to walk alone in this campus because of the wildlife and uh, so the guy actually came with a torch and he escorted us and we started walking from the guest house here uh, towards uh, the you know the dinner area which is around 300 meters walk from here these are the cottages and beyond that is the uh, you know the din dinner area as soon as we walked a few steps, we reached here and, uh, you know, the guide said, okay, see, there's a leopard there. The leopard was actually, you can see a bunch of deer over there and there's a rock over there. The leopard was right there, I think near that rock, we could see only two eyes shine right there. So basically what the leopard was trying to do was there were this bunch of deer over there uh, resting for the night so it was trying to sneak up off on them and you know uh, because we were with family and you know walking with kids my wife actually got a little concerned when we were uh, you know walking I mean we see a leopard there and we are walking with kids <laughs> towards the dinner area so I, it's you know, you know, expected that anybody would get actually concerned. So yeah, yeah, yeah we were a little concerned as well. So but yeah, uh, there were a couple of guides. Another guy actually started uh, shining his torch as well, and he actually went little closer to the leopard, and the leopard didn't even look towards him. It just walked, and uh, we had to walk in the same route all the way uh, to the dinner area. It was. Uh, slightly scary especially for my family and uh, you know sort of exciting to see the leopard as well all at the same time and after that um, once we reached there he, it actually went behind uh, the Vanaranjini cottage over there uh, so even from the dinner area we, I could see the leopard it went behind uh, uh, Vanaranjini and uh, after that it started raining very heavily so I had to come get the car walk all alone, go to the parking area, get the car and then, you know, pick up uh, my family and drop them back to the cottage. So it was quite eventful yesterday night. But luckily after that, uh, I went back to drop the car at around 10.30. But yeah, the staff over here, they escorted and they actually dropped me in their car. So that was thankful to them. But yeah, um, if that electric buggy was working, it was much more helpful here for the visitors. Well, that's a samba deer alarm, alarm call. A samba deer is giving alarm calls here. Check out the deers over there. So there's something has spooked that sambar deer over there. 
So it's constantly making, giving out that alarm call. Exciting. I think the resident leopard is still around the vicinity. Uh, because of which, I think the sambar deer has got the smell of the leopard. And that's why it's giving that call. Time to go and have some coffee tea and uh, to check out if breakfast is ready as well. So it's around 8.30 now. We just had coffee now so we'll, uh, the breakfast is not yet ready so we thought we'll go for a ride in Mangala Road now. So I mean it's 9 o'clock you don't expect to see anything there but we will anyway give it a try, we just go for a ride and come uh, and then have break breakfast. Alright guys, so it's been an eventful last past hour. So what happened was, um, you know, just before breakfast we went in that uh, Mangala road and as soon as we went there, around there, we saw a leopard to the left of the road. It was very far away and uh, we saw it was playing on the tree. So, uh, you know, we thought maybe it's close to our guest house Harini over here. So we immediately drove back and uh, you know we had breakfast and we came here and i was like uh, sitting here and another photographer was also here he was also waiting uh, so what we did was uh, yeah you know we, we were just discussing about uh, this leopard sighting and uh, yeah after a few minutes i noticed that the leopard immediately sprang on a branch over there which i'm sure you can't see exactly from here and it started playing right there to my absolute shock, I didn't expect that. And so it's a, it's a, a relatively adolescent leopard which was playing on that branch, and I, I immediately, uh, uh, because I didn't have a long range lens or anything, I happened to call that person whose name is uh, Prasanna, who is a wildlife photographer. He immediately came over here and uh, he got some good shots. So I've requested him uh, for his, uh, you know, snaps. Uh, so hopefully I'll show that snap uh, once he shares it uh, with me. I'll put it on this video so that you can get a good view because otherwise uh, I don't have any uh, zoom lens to capture that. But what a fantastic sighting it was. Yesterday night, uh, male leopard there. Today morning, this leopard, I saw it from both sides, from the Mangala road and from here as well. But it's been an absolute pleasure seeing this leopard three times in the past uh, since yesterday. Okay, after a beautiful leopard sighting in the morning, it's lunch time, 1.30 we are going for lunch here in Bandipur. After lunch, we'll see if we need to go for uh, safari or uh, 
you need to plan for the evening activities or if you want to drive in Mangala Road. One thing is for sure, safari will be very crowded. It's a Sunday evening, it'll be very crowded. So, not sure what to do. Uh, because there are no other guests apart from us for lunch today, they made only uh, rice, rasam and curds. That's the uh, only thing that's there. Very simple lunch, nothing else. But I think we can manage. It's 4.15 and we are now headed off to the safari center uh, in Bandipur. So we are going for safari and uh, we want to try out our luck once. So there was no mu not much activity at the guest house. Um, uh, we didn't see any other leopard, uh, you know, alarm calls or the leopard. So we thought we'll uh, anyway go to the safari and then come back. It's now 6.15 p.m. in the evening and uh, the sun's just set, it's getting dark and right outside the guest house there are a lot of cheetah deer alarm calls just coming uh, by. So I think the resident leopards, either the male or the female in the cub has started walking uh, uh, in, in the vicinity. So I did try to catch the eye shine, so I did catch a few eye shines then I saw uh, that it is actually deer eye shine. Uh, but definitely the leopards are on the move and it is very exciting. So we actually didn't go for the safari uh, because it was too crowded. We went and uh, in the Mangala road for a while and just drove back. So nothing much there. But yeah, man, th this is so exciting right in front of the guest house. Uh, who wants a safari? I mean, uh, there is a leopard which turns out every evening. It's quite fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can uh, get a view of it in a in some time and uh, if possible I'll try to record it yeah let's see
Alright guys, so it's now uh, around 10.30 and uh, time to check out from Bandipur today. So we went for an early morning ride in the Mangala road again today. Didn't spot anything much. So we've just had our breakfast and uh, it's time to leave. And uh, you know, it's two days went so quickly. And even though, you know, we just stayed here, we didn't go on any safari. It's such a lovely place to stay. So serene, so relaxing. Honestly, I'm already eager, thinking to come back here again. Uh, regarding yesterday night, I was up till three o'clock today morning. So, you know, sat throughout from 10:30 to three o'clock. Uh, on two to three occasions, there were loud alarm calls. So you can see this is Harini, and usually the deers are resting over there. That's the place where deers rest in the night. So there were very, uh, you know, vocal alarm calls and I could clearly make out that probably a predator had, uh, the leopard had uh, probably attacked the herd, deer herd, I guess. Because the entire deer actually ran off in a different direction. It was not just alarm call and they were standing in the same place. They just ran off, the entire herd ran off. But of, of the leopard itself, no trace, I couldn't see anything there. And uh, I also, uh, you know, was hoping, I even switched off the front light and I was sitting here. Uh, I mean, inside of Harini Cottage, but uh, didn't see anything at all. Sitting here uh, in the middle of the night was such a lovely experience. I cannot even put it in words. So relaxing and so beautiful. It's just absolutely silent so much. I mean, you can only hear, uh, you know, this Cheetal deer alarm calls or some bird calls. And it is just so mesmerizing, so, so beautiful. And by the way, when I went for breakfast today, there they told me that yesterday evening at 7.45, at uh, Vanasumad, in front of Vanasumad, there is a broken, uh, there is a fallen tree. Uh, and uh, on top of that tree, it seems the leopard was sitting uh, at 7.45 yesterday evening, it seems. I was right here in uh, Harini Cottage at that time. So it seems uh, the leopard was sitting on that tree, uh, fallen tree over there, yesterday evening at 7.45. And that is Vanasuma guest house. And um, yeah, so it seems it was sitting for 20 minutes. Missed that. Uh, unfortunately, so you you can be in the same campus, but you can miss so uh, because it's it's a quite big campus actually. Just before that, I heard a lot of alarm calls yesterday evening also, uh, coming from around that area. And the deer from there actually started moving this way. So probably I think uh, that the leopard crossed somewhere over there and then came near Vanasuma guest house there, uh, and it was there at around 7:30 ish so that's what i feel happened it's been uh, a fantastic outing here that's langur monkeys calling there it's been a fantastic trip this one and uh, i loved every bit of it and my family liked it as well so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time until then take care see you then and goodbye